all right to download this fps pack make sure to be in my discord it'll be down in the description and just go to tweaks right here and there it is fps pack dot r all right once that is downloaded make sure to extract the files all right before you even do anything make sure to have a system restore point all right a ton of you guys done like tweaks and stuff without having a restore point and i literally can't help you because a restore point is the only thing that can help you if anything goes wrong so make sure to create a restore point all right first we got registry tweaks very simple we have fortnite normal priority full screen optimization which just optimizes fortnite when it's on full screen so it's like the main focus all right and then we have high priority fortnite ping reduction and wake up all cores all right so first up don't use normal priority and use high priority at the same time. Basically, what I used was I basically used normal priority, checked if it works for Fortnite, how well it does. And then I use high priority, see how well it does and see which one is the best. So for me personally, for Nitro 5, high priority is the best one to use. But it's different on every computer or laptop. So you can just test around with it and see which one's better. But for now, I'm going to just use high priority Fortnite. Next thing is full screen optimization. Very easy to use. Just use it, you know. All right, so basically just use most of these tweaks right here since these did help me. That's why I'm providing it to you guys. I won't provide you guys anything that personally wouldn't help me because a lot of people in my community uses the Nitro 5 and so do I. And I find these helpful. So just use ping reduction and wake up all cores. Just simple like that. Next, we got batch optimizations. All right, we're going to run clear DNS. Basically, just improves your ping. You know, it helps a lot, actually. I find it helps a lot when you're playing on GeForce now. I don't know why, but like for regular Fortnite, it does help. But it helped me a lot on GeForce now. So just run it as administrator right here. Press any key. Boom, just like that. We have it set. Delete log files. Basically, just deletes a lot of your files that you don't use. It's like temporary files. Uh, basically frees up your space and it provides you better performance which is a w so you can just do that right now it does take some time as you guys can see it's just deleting a ton of random stuff i don't even use like uh just be patient with it it does take a time so just be patient with it it's done you can just press any key to continue just like that boom next we have delete temporary files pretty self-explanatory just enable it right here and as you guys can see it's deleting a ton of unnecessary files and just like that and right, next we're going to disable high precision event timer pretty nice it does help a lot so just do that do that nice all right next we have windows optimizations these are very self-explanatory we have all this stuff that's going to help you in your windows all right so a lot of these does help since a lot of these stuff is unnecessary like we have unnecessary services game bar background apps all that stuff so you can just run any of these all you want uh you can use all of these and you can get the best performance possible. All right, next we have the config file, which is basically just the Fortnite config file, as you guys know. Basically, you just take your config file from the pack and copy and paste it and replace it with your current config file. This config file is optimized and it's best for your game. So just copy it right here and do control R and type in percent local app data and click OK. Next under here for Fortnite game, just rename it to Fortnite game one and just paste in your new config file, just like that. And you should be good to go. Next, we got power plan, which is the rec OS power plan. So first you want to import this power plan to your laptop, just like that. Just enter this registry file. Boom, just like that. Once the power plant is imported, make sure to go to your power plant and do enable it. So just click on power plant, choose power plant, and down here you should see rec OS power plant and just do that. And the last thing on this pack is CC setup. Super easy. You already know CC cleaner clears your laptop, does all that stuff. I already shown you guys this a ton. So if you have not done it already, make sure to download CC cleaner, clean up your laptop or PC, and it should run a lot better. 